Hey guys, what's going on? I'm George and this is You Wanna Watch. This week's little project, got this little perfect handle crate hammer. It does have some issues. Um, the little pry bar on the end here has been snapped off. We don't have that. So what I think I'm going to do is heat this up, straighten it out, round this off and make it just a normal hammer. Um, the head is in horrible shape. This is twisted. Um, it's just flared out. It's kind of in real crappy shape. It's bent. So we're going to do what we can to try and save this and bring this back into usable service. I'm always in the need for a little tack hammer. I do a lot of furniture and this is going to come in handy. So I say let's get at it. Let's go. All right. Well, this thing definitely has its issues. Big time. So I guess what I want to do is pop the scales off here, which is no real big feat. They're just going to pop right off. So I say we get right into it. I'm going to throw it in the vise and get some heat on there. See if we can't torch it and heat it and bend it and manipulate it to how we need it. Let's go. So I'm just going to set it in here for right now until we can get it really heated. It's going to take a little while. But what I want to try and do is get the metal glowing. It's much straighter. Oh yeah, there we go. Oof. Let it sit in there a little while and cool off. <clears throat> so I think what I want to do here, I want to file down this rough edge. Trying to keep everything square on this end. So this is what I've got so far. I'm 
got a little crazy right there, but uh, you know, we'll fix that up with some sandpaper, get it all cleaned up. At least it's square again. And then I've got this um, eased off around the edges. The center I'm not too worried about because that's where all the contact's going to wind up being and it's just going to get um, messed up anyway. So, and I think you guys can see that there was a, a stamp of something here at one time. You can no longer see what was in there so I think I'm going to put a G with one of my stamps in there for uh, Super George. And then on this side as well just to customize it a little bit you know all right i see we throw it on the wire wheel let me get reset up and uh we'll see what we got see how the metal looks well it's getting there the hammer she's all cleaned up I'm feeling quite good about this it does look good so now we just got to figure out scales all right Got those cut out. Hopefully you guys can still see the pencil lines that are on there. So I do have a lot of shaping left to do on these. And uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna get right into it. you guys can't see, I totally apologize. I hate glue-ups just because of this. Alright, well we got the clamps off, the epoxy's dry. I got the handles attached. It didn't come out too bad from what I can see right here. Um, I do have a lot of sanding to do and I do uh, want to try and grab my draw knife. But I want to get 90% of this glue off here before I even throw my draw knife on there because I don't want to ruin it. Start taking a little bit off this. So all we're doing is little bits at a time here guys. I don't want to get too much and I don't want to um, it's kind of hard to think and talk at the same time here I don't want to um, get it into a funky shape I want to try and keep it uniformed as I'm doing this all right, so this is what we got so far. I think it looks pretty good. So I wound up going with the streamlined look to it. I think it feels a little bit better in the hand. Because, again, this is just going to be like a little tack hammer. So, yeah, I'm kind of digging it. I think what I'm going to do is um, put... A light sanding on the black walnut and then throw some quick stain on there real quick just to uh, finish this up today all right let's get at it all right so we're just gonna throw a little bit of
dark walnut on this. Little tiny bit. Oh, that's gonna look nice. All right, guys, so here it is, man. Um, this is the little tiny perfect handle crate hammer. Um, I'm quite happy with it. I really am. We've got black walnut inlaid into it. I kept it a streamlined, thin profile on there. It feels really good in my hand. Um, and again, I'm just gonna use this for tack, stuff like that. Originally, it would have had like a little crowbar or nail puller on the end of this that was missing, but it still had this little um, tit sitting off the end that we had to grind off. And uh, it came out pretty good, you know? The head looks a lot better. We had to take the painting off that. You can see the little light line where the old painting was, took that off. And then we had to reconstruct the, I don't know what you would call this end, the pry end maybe, but we had to reconstruct that. It came out pretty good. All in all, I'm quite happy with it. This is a pretty uh, rare little hammer. I've never seen one like this. And uh, I'm really glad I got it, so. Like always, guys, stay safe, be safe, and we'll see you next week with another project. Bye.